Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. Today, guys, we have the next episode of Pack and Play, and I gotta say, the challenge is today, we could be looking at some big-time upgrades. Now, I do want to give a shout-out to Nate Dog for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, guys, I know today is Sunday, we should have some NBA games up, so if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100, and follow me over on Twitter for my NBA picks. Underdog has been running a couple of specials lately, we just had on a James Harden one. This RJ Barrett one is actually live the day I'm recording this video, which is on Tuesday, and we're definitely going to be seeing some more specials throughout the NBA playoffs, so don't miss out on them. Check out Underdog. Use code ZERK. Now, as for those challenges for today, number one, every single fourth down, I have to run the ball, which could be kind of hard depending on if we get to like fourth and long right that's obviously going to be an issue but every single fourth i have to run the ball if we do so i get a 99 overall now if we win the game i get two 99 overalls now this is of my choice as well which we definitely could use some 99s on this team so uh i like that challenge quite a bit and the second challenge is for every pass over 30 yards i have to say that Dak couldn't make that throw that's that's what i have to say so Shout out to you. Shout out to you for that one. And if we do that challenge, I get to do a pack of my choice. I think I'll probably do Mission Mutt because it's like the most expensive one in the store. So probably have the best chance to give them something good. But with that being said, guys, those are the challenges. This is the offense. This is the defense. Uh, we have a new receiver in DK. Hopefully he can help us win. The NFL season may be over, but there is still a ton of stuff to do on Underdog Fantasy. If you guys didn't know, Underdog Fantasy also has pick'em entries available for the NBA, college basketball, esports, hockey, MLB, MMA, a ton of stuff that you guys can check out, and I'm always putting up picks over on my Twitter. And of course, using the pick'em entries, you guys can go ahead and 20 times your entry if you hit all five picks correct, or use the insurance feature, which will allow you to still win even if you miss on one now not only does underdog have a bunch of different things you can do for pickums but they also have a bunch of drafts you guys can go and enter the big tournaments enter some of the smaller ones or even start private tournaments where you can invite your friends to play make sure you guys check out underdog fantasy and use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and as i said i'm always posting up picks over on my twitter so as you guys can see i believe that's my top three right there with dk pat certain and also dion okay he has Bryce Young at QB, so that's going to be interesting. All right, so let's see what we can do out here on offense. All we have to do is to make sure that we run the ball on fourth down. But on first down, I can most certainly throw. And look at AJ Dillon. No, stay in bounds. If AJ just stays in bounds there, we are gone. As second down, I'm going to run the same exact play because I think he might run the same exact defense. And he did. And once again, AJ's open, but we didn't get the first. All right, and you know what? I think he's going to do the same exact thing. So on third and one... I'm going to look to go to AJ once again out of the backfield, but this time we have him on a Texas route and he's going to get the first down. So let's see if he switches it up or not, but I'm going to continue to just use AJ Dillon for sure. Second down and seven coming up and I think we're going to have, oh, a pick. Oh, I did not throw a pick. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought I was going to throw a pick. Okay, first down and 10 here. If he's going to press, we might go to Carmichael. Oh, uh, can we fit that into Carmichael with the catch? And he dropped it. Second down and 10 coming up once again. Oh, dude, look at Carmichael. But look at Hopkins down the field. What a dot. Was that 30 yards? I, I think it was 30 yards. Dak can't make that throw. An absolutely gorgeous dot right there as... Oh, look at Kelsey. Kelsey is wide open over the middle. And that's not 30 yards. That's not 30. First and goal now, down at the five-yard line. You already know I'm running this football. We just need to get a good block there, and we got reached. All right, second and goal. Can we throw this? I think we can. It's just a matter of will one of my receivers get open, and I'm honestly probably looking to go to DK, and DK's in for the TD. And it looks like my opponent, guys,
guys is out of here so we get one for the win one for the rage quit and we also get one for my opponent having zero points he just quit after one drive so that does put us at four packs already i am gonna hop into another one because obviously that was an extremely extremely quick game right there i'm also not going to count that as completing the first challenge but we do get a rare plus strategy item right here because you know we gotta win so we got that don't think i can use it we'll see if we can do their strategy cards later all right so we have four packs and we're gonna head into another game right here i'm going to continue on with the challenges also i didn't even get to a single fourth down so yeah so let's see if we can't continue to dominate out here offensively that first game went pretty well for us as we're gonna have aj dylan i saw his user out there but he's not able to make a play on it and aj dylan with a big time run it was a 50 yard pass but most of it was after the catch. Dad can't make that throw. I'm pretty sure the rule is only supposed to be that I should say that. Like if it was, you know, 30 yards in the air. But since the pass went 50 yards, I guess I will say it right there. As I thought we were going to have somebody open. Instead, we're going to take off a of Brunel for a couple of yards. All right, second down coming up right here. I don't know if this cornerback is blitzing off that left side. Looks like nope, he is not. And we're going to have D-Hop open and d hop in for the td that was only 28 yards all right so now my opponent's gonna be starting off on the 40 yard line and he also has a gust the bus so let's see what we can do second down and eight once again he's gonna be running the football i know we don't have a gust but we also have you know an akx factor running back third down and eight coming up surely he's not gonna run right yeah he wasn't gonna run the football there and stay he's gonna go to an out oh throw right at me oh no he got open on me no i'm just not fast enough to keep up that right there is just straight up speed difference i mean that speed difference right there was ridiculous as i actually ran commit to the left side i thought he would run by the way i'm just now noticing this guy not only has gus he also has flash so he's gonna run the football and he's gonna run the football a lot as he's gonna try to take off here with tebow yeah he's just he's too fast all right so we're gonna have an issue on the defensive side of the ball because this guy's speed is unfortunately a lot higher than uh what i have available to cover him so we'll see what we can do as d hop i really wanted to break that tackle again not 30 yards but hopefully we can just continue to move the ball offensively and if we can score then hopefully we'll be okay as we're down to the 49 yard line i see that cornerback blitz coming and we got sacked all right so let's see if he brings that same cornerback blitz second and 22 coming up and nope he did not we are gonna have kelsey open just picking up the easy yardage there and now third down coming up if we don't pick this up we're gonna have to run the football so third down and six here and i think i can fit it into dk and somehow the ball went behind dk for a pick i gotta say that is my least favorite thing in this game i think as of this very moment with you know how much i've been playing and what has been annoying me the interceptions when the ball is literally behind the receiver gets picked how like if that's not gonna be a catch there then okay maybe it's a knockout because he's hitting me in the back but how does the ball literally teleport behind my receiver for a pick? It's just stupid. And this guy's just going to continue to ground and pound me away. Again, like I said, you know, we don't necessarily have the best run stoppers out here or the speed. I feel like defense is definitely a bit of an issue for my team. And I think I know where I'm going to be using potentially one of those 99 overall upgrades. That's for sure. Good throw there. Throw it. I dare you. Let's go. JJ Watt with the sack. Big time sack right there from JJ. Third down and 12 coming up. I did just put up a spy and it didn't matter. Just good throw. All right. And on first and goal, this is probably a draw. And yep, it was a draw. And we actually got a hit on Tebow. Still fell forward for five yards. Absolutely ridiculous. Second and goal coming up here. Let's see if he runs another draw. But I do have six people on the line, and we stopped him. Yep, we stopped him. Let's go. All right, and third and goal at the one-yard line. Let's see what he does. Is he going to run another draw play? Yep, he ran another draw, and we stuffed him again. Let's go. And on fourth and goal at the one, I have to run commit. If I don't run commit, there's no way I'm going to be able to stop a run. RPO. I mean, I, I pretty much had to sell out. We were doing so good right there on the goal line, and then he hit us with an RPO. 
And, I mean, he had Cordero Patterson and Gus Edwards in the backfield. I had to assume it was just going to be straight up option or something. Second down and 11 coming up. I wouldn't be shocked if this is actually a pass here. And, yep, it is going to be a pass. And I knew it. I knew he was going to go to the tight end, man. Third down and one. I'm run committing. I, I absolutely have to run commit here. And I think we stopped him. All right, fourth and inches. Is he going to run it again? I'm not run committing. I don't think he's going to run this ball again. I think he's going to run play action. And, yeah. He, he ran it again. Oh, pick that, pick that. What? Dude, this game is cheating me. He really got away with throwing that. Like, I, I just don't understand how he can throw stuff like that. But I throw a little post over the middle and the ball goes behind my receiver for a pick. Like, come on. EA really does not seem to like the pack and play account these last couple of weeks. I don't know what it is, but we have just been getting, in my opinion, screwed like non-stop pretty much here as it's second and 13 and i'm all over that let's go steve atwater with the user pick and we need this to be a pick six let's go steve atwater we're gonna take this all the way back to the house i read that perfectly so a big time interception big time pick six right there just got us two additional packs here as oh i wish i had acrobat that's something else that i need is a better user man if i had a better user card a faster user card Hard. really seriously he broke that tackle all right and now my opponent's down inside the five you have to think he's gonna be running and here's a read option Dion. what are you doing he just stood there and now my opponent is running an onside kick if he gets this my controller is in danger okay all right so with my opponent now putting me at the 45 yard line i'm gonna run some shoe clock because I'm going to try to potentially make this like the last possession of the entire game. I want to score and go for two. That's what I want to do. I do not want to give my opponent the ball back. Second down coming up here, and AJ's going to break that tackle and get the first. All right, so now we're down at the 34-yard line. I'm going to be looking to go to AJ and actually no. Whoa! What just happened? What was that? The ball literally just hit Carmichael in the hands bounced off for a pick i cannot believe this game i mean come on i'm not the only one seeing this right like this is like four episodes in a row where i'm getting screwed what is that how does that happen yes i ran commit i don't care i'm quitting the game i'm, I'm out i'm out this is absolutely ridiculous like how does this stuff keep happening to me with the ball getting caught behind my receiver. He chucked it up in the double coverage deep down the field, came down with it somehow. Then I got to pick six. Then that caught, like, what is going on? Why does this keep happening to me week after week after week in pack and play? I don't understand. Either which way, yes, I rage quit right there after that. I don't care. I am giving us the challenge. We played two games, and every single fourth down, I ran the ball because we actually never got to fourth down one time. So, yeah. I'm going to give us that challenge. We have a total of eight packs. I am just amazed. Like, this is seriously a record for EA screwing me. We have eight total packs to get into. Let's start off with these Gold Plus player packs. And I, I will say as well, right? I know you guys like to see me rage. I hate it. It raises my blood pressure a lot. I got to say, it's pretty funny when I watch back these videos myself and I'm editing these and I'm raging because some of the stuff that happens in this game, man, it's just ridiculous. It, it's funny. It is funny. But wow, it is infuriating to be in my shoes and to have a 94 overall team. And I'm facing 99. Literally just about everybody has a 98, 99 overall team that I'm facing. And stuff like that happens. Like EA, I'm already at a severe disadvantage. It's just absolutely mind blowing. But we're five packs in. This is pack number eight right here and our 83 plus is going to be an 88 okay uh this is pack number seven we get a gold and pack number eight we get ourselves give me an elite please okay we got an elite 81 now we do get to go ahead and do one special pack for getting over five packs in this episode so we're gonna go ahead and do an elite pack here and then we're gonna do a mission mutt pack and we get to choose a 99 overall player of my choosing that's a nice pull 97 overall okay uh can he make the team though he's not a good enough pass rusher honestly i'll take the training we will definitely use the training 
And then let's go ahead and do this mission mutt pack right here for 97,000 coins. And we're going to get ourselves a 91 overall dress. Way. Come on. Something good. 91. Really? Two 91s? All right, now before we go and do anything else, let's go ahead and work on this right here, the NFL Draft Pass Elite, before we go ahead and quick sell cards, because for those guys that don't recall here, we have a bunch of these 91s. I've been doing a lot of packs here, but we also have uh, now some 88s, 89s. We can go ahead and do these, uh, since we did just pull Chris McAllister and also Justin right here. So we're going to go ahead and get a 93 overall draft player. Now, I don't know if we're going to use any of these 93 overall uh, draft past elite players here, but we can go and pick one to potentially just throw into a set. Uh, we'll go with Layel, I guess. And to get a 97 overall draft pass hero, guys, all we need is one more 95. And uh, to get a 95 overall, we just need one more 93. And we have enough to do another 93. All right, so let's go ahead and use our last 88 overall that we actually earned from Pack and Play here and get our last 93. And then we're going to get a 95. All right, so now adding in those two 93s and one 91 overall that we have, we now get a 95 overall a draft player to go ahead and pick here. So with the 95, this is where we start to get in the territory of like, you know, actually being able to use some of these cards. But uh we'll just go with do we actually need a left to right guard because i'm trying to think if from doing that set do we still have all the requirements i'm just gonna go ahead and pick i guess this left guard here what i meant by that was exactly this because yes now we have 295s we held on to jalen johnson from the last episode but now we need another 93 that being said, we have a lot of training points. We're going to go pull a 93. All right, so quick on all those cards we just pulled, guys, to get 192,000 training points. So let's go ahead and use these on these draft player packs as we're going to get a 91 overall right there. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and pretty much dump it all into these. Now, we are going to be able to go ahead and pick up a 99 overall of my choice. We did not win the second game, so I'm not going to count that first game for the win of, you know, running on every fourth down. We never even got to a fourth down to run, but still challenge complete we just need a 93 so ea please give me a 93 man okay it shouldn't be this hard as there we go there's our 93 overall that we needed and we can go ahead and do this one last pack here and then we're going to exchange this 93 and turn that into a 97 okay so now let's go ahead and take that 93 and turn into this 97 overall draft past hero fantasy pack this is going to be very, very good. There are definitely some 97 overalls available in this pack that we could use. Kenyon Green, Boye Mafe, Jeff Okuda, OJ. Who should we go with, though? And while I did think about going with Kenyon Green, because Kenyon is pretty good and we could definitely use him for the rest of the year, I think the move here is going to be going with Grady Jarrett because he gets edge threat elite for zero. And we badly need some extra, like, edge pressure as well as being able to stop the run. This Grady Jarrett can most certainly stop the run. 89 speed, 93 excel, 99 strength, 99 block shed, 97 power move, 305 pounds. He's going to be good to have out there. All right, so now we get to go ahead and get rid of Max Crosby now that we have Grady Jarrett on the team, which is definitely going to help us out. I'll say that for sure. We also get 50,000 training. Now, since we do have 72,000 training points, let's go ahead and really quickly do 291 plus overall draft player packs. And then we're going to go ahead and pick up our 99. Actually, we should probably only do one because... Eh, no, we can do two because no matter who we pick up here, we're going to have enough training points to put abilities on them and i think i know who we're gonna go ahead and get in my opinion guys i think it's time for a new quarterback mark brunel 5 ap is just really really ridiculous to be spending he also does have slinger one we're gonna go to another slinger one qb and we're gonna pick up aaron Rodgers. and as you guys know my favorite release in the game is actually slinger three but since the rule is I'd pick with 99 overall, the best Slinger 3 QB that's a 99 is probably Tebow, but he's left-handed, and I want a right-handed QB again. So we're going to go ahead and pick up Rodgers. Uh, also, he is 2 AP for the quote-unquote God stack that everybody likes to run. So this is going to save us 3 AP on offense and likely give us our end-game quarterback. Let's go ahead and quick sell Mark Brunel. Let's get all of our training points back here. Pretty much all of these items as well. So we are going to go ahead and get to quick sell everything. We're going to be able to quick sell all these cards and Brunel himself get a lot of training. So quick selling all of the Mark Brunel cards, guys. We get almost 200,000 
training points to use. That move right there just freed up a bunch of AP on offense, so I just added some extra abilities to our receivers, and now we still have 192,000 training points to go use. All right, so let's go ahead and use these on the 91 plus overall NFL draft player pack. Again, we can continue to get all these draft players, maybe get lucky and pull some rookies as well, and then we'll go see what exchanges we can do with all these cards right here. Definitely making a lot of moves this episode we already got 197 overall we have a new 99 overall qb which is gonna really really help us offensively and just freed up some ap to add some more stuff onto our receivers so i absolutely love the move we can do this in one more pack here and come on help me out ea 93 okay Final pack we get to do, though, and we're going to end it off with a, please, a draft player. 91. I meant, like, you know, a new one. We do have enough draft players to go ahead and do another 95 overall since we have two 93s and another 91. So let's go ahead. We'll get our 95 overall draft player. Again, I don't really think there's uh, necessarily anybody out of this pack. I mean, we could go with the left guard. I'm pretty sure we do need a left guard. So... Maybe if we can't throw him into a set right now, we'll just use him. And currently, we do have Alan Fanica left guard, but if I were to throw in this guy, I may forget we have him, and then, you know, I would end up uh, not having him available to use for the set. So, for now, I think it's okay. We will just not use Logan in our lineup, and we'll just keep him in our binder to go ahead and use an exchange set in the next episode. But definitely a big episode. We have Aaron Rodgers now at QB. Big upgrade. And also Grady Jarrett, which is really, really going to help us in the run game. I've been complaining about that nonstop, how bad our run game is. And uh, also as a pass rusher. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Crazy episode again. A lot of, a lot of craziness happening in those gameplays. But definitely worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.